All right, so next up, um, I'm going to jump into this kind of manipulation and, and modification stuff um, in terms of placement alignments and stuff like that. Um, if, <coughs> uh, However, uh, Scott had a question that I wanted to just get in the recording here for everyone. Um, how do you measure how big something is? Like maybe you feel like you might have made a typo or something just doesn't look like it's the right size. If you want to measure something's length, it's called a uh, distance. Um, oh, I had it already preset. So the distance command, type in D-I-S-T, hit enter. Um, and all you have to do is um, make sure your object snap is on. But you click on one endpoint like that, and then you can drag it to another endpoint like this. And it'll tell you how long that element is, so or from that point to the other point. So it's 10 feet long. But you need to be aware that if you kind of have an extreme angle like this, um, and I go from, oh, see, like I accidentally snapped to a midpoint or something. I don't know what that was. So I'll go to the end point, and if I try to go down here, but maybe I accidentally snap to something else like the um, opposite end point, it's going to give me an odd number, and it's going to look odd. It should. I mean, you should know basically if it's wrong because it'll give you a number with like decimals and stuff like that. So 10.01, and that's because I accidentally snapped to the point on the other corner. So generally speaking, I always suggest zooming in pretty close. Like I zoom in and out a lot. Like I'll zoom all the way in and click on that, and then I'll zoom out, and I'll zoom all the way in on this one and click on that. And that's how I make sure that I'm connecting to the right ones. Okay? Um so the other thing that I want to do is just kind of get start to get prepared to move things around. Um, I'm going to quickly create some other planes, and I'm not worried so much about the layers right now, but I'm, I am going to do them in different colors for now, and I'll change them later. Um, but I'm going to go to 50% opacity and create the other one, <coughs> which you guys all should have done by now or something. Um, but... Uh, so this was at, and I think it was 15 by 25 for the next one. 1.5 inches. Then I'll switch to 100%, and I'm going to say box. This one was at 10 feet by 30 feet. All right. Let's go to perspective real quick so I can float around on this. Um, what I'm going to do here is kind of make, since I'm working and operating in the orthogonal plane, I'm basically just going to make a series of planes in all orientation, plane, well, objects, I'll say, all objects, in all orientations so that all I have to do is just click on it and gumball it over to my model and then just start locking it into place and pushing and pulling and getting it going. So um, in order to do that, I mean, essentially what I have here is um, like a prepackaged thing. And I need to get it into all three planes. Easily enough, I have, I have this one kind of in my top plane. So this one's pretty much ready to go. I don't have to elevate it. I can just move it off to the side. Actually, yeah, whatever. So um, all I need to do here really is, is copy and rotate it. So just like copy and relocate like that. I mean, I could copy and relocate it and then rotate it. Whoops. Let me do that again. I could copy, relocate, and rotate by clicking on the red loopy thingy. And that's going to um, give me the opportunity to say, I want to rotate it in that axis 90 degrees. So I type in the value of 90, and there it is. So that's two axes. That's all well and good. Um, the other thing that I can do is rotate and copy in the same command. So if I hold Alt and click on the blue axis and type in 90, it creates a duplicate copy of that whole system, which I can click and drag and move over here. So um, with that, 
if you want, you can elevate this kind of up top and you can select this whole system and just move it off to the side and then you're pretty much good to go to just start taking an object, put one at the origin, doesn't matter which one, but just put one at the origin to get started. Um, oh, sorry, let me uh, make a copy. So you can just, oh, let me pause for a moment, guys, and do a, a quick, very important conversation on when to use your object snaps and the very few cases where you can click something to move it and just drag it to another place. This is an instance where if I'm going to um, make a copy, I'm just gonna um, click and just drag and drop it somewhere because I have the objective of hitting enter um, to or hitting move and placing it on the origin. Okay, um, I want you to be very careful about doing something like this on your model and clicking and dragging to connect it to something. Okay, that's a very hard thing to control. So make sure that only when you're doing like, I need to take this whole thing and I need to move it somewhere over here like this. That's the only way you should do that. If you're actually working on a model and I need to grab this element I want to use the copy command. So I hit copy and I'll grab one of these sides like this. Maybe the midpoint right there. And then I'll go over to my model and I'll connect it to the midpoint here. Okay, so it's very important that you use these object snaps. So, um, and to, to close that conversation, another best practice I want you all to just be aware of here is that when you have this problem that just showed up where you can't zoom in any closer, a good way of recalibrating your screen, for those of you who know AutoCAD, um, you typed in regen, um, but this one you have to type in what's called zoom select and uh, you just select an object like this and I'll type in ZS and it zooms on that object allows me to zoom in and out, but what it does is it centers the camera rotation. So as I'm spinning around the camera, it is going to lock to that object, even if I'm looking at it, well that recalibrated actually, sorry, I forget the behaviors on that one. But um, anyway, so that'll help you uh, lock into a certain element if your camera gets stuck or sticky. Questions so far? None. All right. Um, so I'm going to jump into an explanation of like placing some objects, spacing them, um, and doing some copies and things like that in a moment. But uh, yeah, just hang tight. <laughs>